Put your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to me. Welcome to a toast to the men with your guy SD Booker. Today we got Wednesdays with Yaya, my beautiful, lovely wife, Yaya. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. good. Uh, seems like it's been a while since we did this, the Wednesdays with Yaya. But actually, we recorded last week. I, I really didn't like it. Um, and so I scrapped it. And so we're back this week. Yeah, folks, I don't just put out anything you got to be right and we got to be responsible on the message we're conveying and so if it ain't right i'll scrap it you know these videos take time recording um you know transitioning to something that's uh, fallible or or that can be uploaded and then the actual upload hey it could take it could take hours but you know I'd rather have it right than just to have something out there. Right. All right. So today's topic, do all heterosexual men pay for sex and why? I got my take on this. I want to hear your take. Do all heterosexual men pay for sex and why? I say they do. Okay. They do pay for sex. Um, Including me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, damn. Yes. Damn. Okay. Okay. We're going to dive into that. Okay. Okay. Because it's not just, you know, in the form of money. I, I know that I demand mm -hmm. or require... Okay. Or, des no or desire. Okay. Time. Your time. Okay. Okay. Your energy. Your conversation. Mm -hmm. Attention. Attention. I'm just breaking it down. To yeah, right. Yes. right. Yes. Different forms of attention. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, you're right. You're right. Um, men pay in the form, in many forms. Uh, one, money. I think is the primary form. And, and when I say money, it's not always a transaction between mm -hmm. a, a so-called worker, a female worker, and a John. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you also got some monogamous relationships, some marriages who operate in that form. Mm -hmm. And they don't label it that way, but that woman would not be with that man if he wasn't uh, giving her gifts or giving her money. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't look his way when giving him any time. Nothing. Right. And she's only with him because of that. And if that was to leave, she would be gone. There's some marriages based on that. Right. Uh when he hits a rough a rough spot in life, she's out. She bails. And you know, we, we know what that's rooted on. We don't call those relationships a a a a worker female worker in mm -hmm. John relationship, but what's the difference? Right. Because the female the female worker has nothing for that John if he doesn't have money in the in the equation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's the what's the difference? And I know that. Um, well, we're going to answer your question. No, there's not much difference. Yeah. So now on the flip side. Uh, women want attention. That's a payment. You know, that's a that's an exchange, energy, time. Mm -hmm. Anytime I'm giving time, um, I'm giving time. I'm losing time to make money. Right. I'm losing time to think, plot, strategize. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I give you energy. Mm -hmm. I could be delegating that energy somewhere else. That's true. Right? That's true. So there's always a give and take. Yeah. There's always a transaction. Uh, would you get with me? Would you have gotten with me on a serious level if I didn't have income? No. Okay. And that doesn't make you a gold digger or anything. But you want to 
be protected. You want to be provided for. Right. You want to be able to go out. Right. Right. And that's not, and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But the problem comes if the relationship was solely rooted in that. That's right. the foundation of the relationship an exchange of money and sex. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of marriages uh, based on that foundation. And you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm just thinking back, um, just what I used to see growing up mm -hmm. in my house, in my own household, like, uh, my mother liked a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. She liked for my daddy to every now and then take her to the movie or somewhere. And if he didn't do that, although he has taken care of the bills <laughs> and all this other stuff throughout the week, you know. These are these. There were these special moments that she wanted him, right, to agree right. to to attend. And if he didn't, she had her a fit. whole her whole mood would change. Yeah, yeah. I mean, man, that's a that's a whole different topic. But we just saw. I think I sent you. I think I sent you a video from TikTok, where this man had taken his wife out shopping, spent all day with her mm -hmm. shopping. She had everything she wanted all day, and. The end of the night comes, they're laying in bed. He's comfortable, ready to sleep. She's up, attitude pouting. Mm -hmm. And she asks him, baby, do you love me? <laughs> so, uh, and I sent you that, I said, man, this, yeah. is, this is so accurate. Yeah. This brother just spent all his money mm -hmm. paying for, for, for you to, to shop. But he hadn't said all day he loves you. Yeah. Y'all yeah, got to hear that. It's, man, it's a lot. It's a lot that a brother, that men have to give that goes unappreciated, unnoticed. Like money, time, energy. Like, like for real. So there is a yeah. payment. So yeah. brothers, now, if a brother ain't giving none of that, money, time, energy, I yeah. think she's out. She's out because there are some brothers that don't pay a bill, that don't bring any money in, but they're giving this woman time and energy and she'll stick with them. There are women like that. There are relationships like that well, where that, he's not a provider, mm -hmm. but he's giving her time and energy and they, they're making it work. Now, I believe from what I've seen, <clears throat> she's going to give him hell yeah, and she's going to talk down on him and disrespect him. But she'll stay with them because he has a lot of time and a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. But a man is on his purpose, on his mission. He doesn't have as much time and energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, he just doesn't have it. And and so, you know, she got to understand that. But but I've seen situations where a man is a great provider and protector. And a woman would leave or step out. If she's not getting enough time and energy. But then when she makes that silly move, she'll regret it. Someone said, mm -hmm. man, if you got a lot of time, you don't have a lot of money. Yeah. Right? Right. But if you have a lot of money, you don't have a lot of time. And that's basically because you're on your purpose. You're working. Mm -hmm. You're on your mission. Uh I don't know many people that have a lot of it all. I, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know anyone that has a lot of it all. Money, time, and energy where it's on the same level. Mm -hmm. There's a sacrifice. But going back to what we talked about, there is a payment. There is a transaction. Um, you got to give up something, brothers. You know, you got to give up something. Period. Wow. Yeah. We require a lot, don't we? Yeah, I do require a lot. You know, I've said this before. And <clears throat> women are selfish by nature. By nature, women are selfish. And that's the that's the uh, dilemma uh, that we face, people face in relationships. Women want what they want. They're selfish by nature. Now, you can go... If you're if you if you're a Christian, a Bible thumper, man, go through the history. 
Or if you, you don't want to do that, go through the history of your own relationships, women. Go through the history of your mom's relationship, your aunt's relationship, your sister's relationships, your friends' relationships. Women are selfish by nature. But that's not such a bad thing mm -hmm. if they're willing to cooperate and submit under the right guy. You know, women are selfish by nature because you have to be to survive. Right. That's that's one of your your makeups to survive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's in a man to say, I'll sacrifice my life for the whole clan, yeah. for the whole family. Mm -hmm. I'll die sacrificing my life for the whole family. I don't think that's innately in women. You have some stories uh, where women have done that, cover their kids when shootouts are happening, they'll sacrifice their life. I don't think y'all cover y'all cover the man Y'all cover up the kids, but y'all ain't covering up the man to take no bullets, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I, I'm just saying. But a man, ain't, a man to take that bullet for the family, for the kids. Men have taken bullets for strangers. No, we. Men, right. men, no, no, men have put themselves in danger mm -hmm. for people they don't even know, right? Because that's innately in us. You know what I'm saying? That's innately in us. I mean, you're right. I agree. We would not take the bullet, but we may be able to nourish that bullet wound. <laughs> <laughs> if I survive. I'm... Right, right. If I survive. But, uh, yes, every brother, every heterosexual man pays for sex in one form of, or another or all three forms. Uh, money, time, and energy. energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if he's not paying for it in any form, um, man, I, I, uh, I don't know what kind. I don't know what you call that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you call that. Um, even if it's uh, even if it's just a, a, a sex thing between between men and women. And no payment is given. A sexual understanding. A, a sexual understanding, right? Mm -hmm. She's getting something. She's getting energy. She's getting time. You know what I'm saying? Right. She's getting she's getting something from that man, even though she may not be getting money and they just screwing. Yeah. She's getting something to fill a void. Yeah. There there de there is definitely an exchange in some form, or all three forms. Yeah. yeah, and like I said, that's the dilemma: the woman being selfish by nature. Uh, it's not such a bad thing. That's one of her defense mechanisms to to uh, to survive. But the man wanting to please the woman, right? Mm -hmm. It's in us. We have to train ourselves not to be tricked. Wow! No, for real, and. A trick is just not someone that's pants a street worker. You can trick with your woman, your wife. We have to train ourselves to say, no, that's not the play. Let me focus on my purpose and my mission. Mm -hmm. We have to train ourselves, especially if we love a woman. We have to train ourselves to be disciplined and put the purpose, the mission first. Yeah. Every uh -huh. brother, every brother has gone through, I can't say every brother, right? I believe most brothers, a vast majority of brothers have gone through a moment or moments when they've made a play. Uh, they went with what the woman wanted, uh -huh. even though it, it did sit well with their spirit, even though they were, it wasn't the right move. I know you definitely have. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Went through it. And they suffer from it. Because they went against what they knew what was right. Mm -hmm. And hey man, every and and, and uh, you know what we like to do a lot is blame the woman. Like Adam did Eve. But really, man, it's on us. She she's just being true to us to her nature. Yeah. You, you gotta be focused on Discipline, ordered, and keep the purpose, the mission mm -hmm. first. I ain't saying it's easy, but it gets easier the more you start doing it. 
and, and uh, the more you do anything, it becomes second nature and easier. Now, having said that, every now and again, and I mentioned this in the book, A Toast to the Man, every now and then, let 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 that uh, that flair of uh, spontaneity out of her enter. Something that wasn't planned. Something that's out of order. Every now and then, add a little flair to right. your life. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, man, you got to stay focused and, and on, on course. I know the times, uh, as I, I reminisce on those moments when you said no, I got a bad feeling. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to, this is not, this is not going to, this is not going to turn out right. Right. When I, when I just paid attention Mm -hmm. Now it was it was uncomfortable for me to make those adjustments, but days passed, hours passed, then I would start to see what it was that you felt. Right. It ain't so much what I felt. It's, it's some things I know just from experience, and some things, yeah, I feel. And some things I just know from experience. This ain't the way to go. Right. Right. And, and that could be with anything, dealing with people, uh, business, uh, family, money, time, energy, whatever. Yeah, this this needs to be directed, redirected yeah. over here. It was new to me. I hadn't, expe I hadn't experienced that at all, so. But have I ever told you wrong? No. Have I ever led you wrong? No. In 10 years, have I led you wrong? No. It, it, was, it was just an uncomfortable feeling. Um, because it was new to me. So when you got, you weren't expecting all that, huh? Mm -mm. To be led? <laughs> was you expect to be led or you, did you have, was your heads in the clouds? Like, I just want to be with them. I expected, or would you, were you expecting a leader? I expected to be led. I expected a leader. However, I did know that I liked the time, mm -hmm. energy, and attention, the flowers, that kind of thing. Well, so, you got more than flowers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're being modest. What I'm saying is, okay. I, I, what you saying? I expected to be led and supplied all the other things from you, the the, the time and attention. See, that's the and that's what well, that's what I was saying. You expect it to be led. Mm -hmm. So you expect me to be ordered, focused. Yes. But you also want my time, energy, and my money. Right. That's what I'm saying, folks. That's what I'm saying. And that's not wrong of her. That's in her nature. That's in women's nature. Now, that was in the beginning. So I want to well, yeah, make the beginning. a point of well, saying, I, I, and I, I, and I And I will say... You, you, you're on board, fully on board. You, you see the vision. You see the purpose. But I don't think you would be on board if I didn't have some W's on my belt. If you didn't see what, I, what I've what i said, where mm -hmm. I've led you, has come out on the winning end. Mm -hmm. I don't think you would be on board. I think you would give me resistance and pushback. If you didn't see the outcome as a winning outcome. Mm -hmm. I got equity. I got equity built in. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what I said is proven. <laughs> that's another. <laughs> that's another thing. So, brother got brother. He got to. He got to have W's, even though he's talking to get game. Man, when 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 it manifests, man, that thing got to come on. Come on out on the winning end, or would y'all lose faith? Well, I belief. Yeah, but I but I do like those moments when you know I'm being who I am. Oh yeah. And and when you're being your you 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 succumbing to your nature. Right. Right. You may soften up a little bit uh -huh. and say, Baby, I know you're feeling this way. It's gonna be okay. Right. So when you say it like that, every now and then you hit me with the baby, it's gonna be okay. Right. Then that, that just gives me that woo-saw moment yeah. to take a breather. So it, it does help. 
I'm saying that to say it does help when you say that. Yeah, I mean, there's a way to communicate, even though I have to be ordered, structured, disciplined. There's a way to communicate, and you can't. A man can't beat her, beat her over the head with it, and be a dictator with it. Now, I do believe, you know, some people say a, a, a servant, a benevolent dictator. Mm -hmm. I can dig that. Um, but conversation rules the nation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Conversation rules the nation. And you can get more done if you know how to communicate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the right way. And still keep your masculinity and keep your dignity. But you know how to communicate to persuade. And that's all... I mean, I'm just saying that's wow. that, no, that's what the spoken word is for to persuade. <laughs> We're all trying to persuade all of us, men and women. Everybody's trying to persuade. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. that's what the spoken word is for to persuade. Now, is it rooted in righteousness and unrighteousness? That's the key. But everybody's speaking to persuade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Everybody, every every heterosexual man pays for sex one way or another or all three. I tell you, you know what? I'm constantly learning from you. That's good. That's good. Hey, I'm constantly soaking up the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Always. As usual. As usual. From us to you. Love. Peace. Peace.